Okay guys, this is the tutorial of the classic pass. Now I actually have a tutorial on it, but because many people recently commented on many of my videos that they need a tutorial for the classic pass. That's why I'm just making this short video and this tutorial should be very easy enough for you guys to learn the classic pass in just one minute. Now, first of all, take an old deck of cards because I'm considering you guys to be new to this classic pass. So just take an old deck of cards and what you're going to do is just divide these cards into two equal packets just like that and then use two rubber bands to strap this two packets just like that so that's the first packet and the second packet you're gonna just take it and just wrap the rubber band around it so right now you have two similar packets and they are right now intact because of the rubber band now it will be very easy for you to do the classic pass so basically if this is an entire deck of cards and these are the two packets in the theory of classic pass what you're actually doing is you're pulling the top packet downwards okay you're not pushing the top packet upwards that will be the Herman pass but in classic pass you're pulling the top packet downwards and that will be a secret move which the spectator won't know so that is the classic pass now I asked you to strap these two packets with rubber bands so that it is easy for you to practice because I'm considering you guys to be absolutely new to the classic pass so at first, if these are the two packets, all you're going to do is you're going to take your pinky and just keep it on top of the bottom packet and then keep the rest of the packet on top of it. So here you're not actually taking a pinky break. A pinky break is just like that where you keep the pinky right at the edge. But here you're actually going to insert your pinky inside that break. And of course, while you're doing the classic pass, since this pinky is inserted, you might feel that the spectator is going to feel that you're doing something sneaky but that is not going to happen because the other hand is going to be right over here and it is going to be covering up this entire portion so basically over here this is the grip of the classic pass okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just remove the bottom packet for uh, for this moment so that you guys can follow on what is going to happen so over here what you're doing is you're basically holding the top packet with these four fingers right so the index middle ring and the pinky now over here the pinky is supporting the packet from the bottom and the index is supporting the packet from the edge and it is also supporting a little bit from the top as well as the bottom so basically over here all you're going to do is if you stretch out these fingers you can see right now the packet is in a horizontal position with the ground but if you stretch out your fingers all you're going to see is that the packet rises up just like that it becomes vertical to the ground so that's what you're going to be doing under the cover of that hand so basically over here after the packet rises up just like that all you're doing is you're basically pulling your fingers downwards and what that happens is what that does is the packet actually comes downwards and that actually gives the other packet which will be at the bottom enough space to rise upwards and after it rises upwards these two fingers actually snaps the packet onto the palm so this packet rises upwards that packet the top packet snaps onto the bottom and you drop this packet on top of it so that's how the exchange of packet actually takes place so at first you just need to practice this movement with the rubber band on so that you get to know what you're actually doing with the base hand now what you're going to do is you are going to add this bottom packet right over here keep your pinky and try to do the same while having the bottom packet on now while you're going to do the classic pass you're going to come over here and grab this deck with the other hand but you're not actually grabbing the entire deck you're basically grabbing the bottom packet because you need to pull this upwards okay so for that when you're coming over here you're using your thumb to grab the bottom packet from behind and you're using this middle finger and the ring finger to grab the bottom packet from the front and you can also use your index finger but keep your pinky away because if you keep your pinky away it actually gives extra space which is going to be used by the index finger of my base hand so basically you're going to keep your pinky away and you're going to hold the deck just like that and then under the cover of this hand all you're doing is you're doing basically the same thing that I just showed you that is you're stretching this uh, packet out and after you're stretching the packet out all you're doing is this packet you're pulling it up with your ring finger and your middle finger 
So you're pulling it up and then you're snapping the other packet onto the palm. So basically from here, you're just making that packet rise and then you're pulling this packet up and then you're just slapping that packet onto your hand just like that and then dropping this packet on top of it. So that's how you're going to do the classic pass. Now once you get into this mechanism using the rubber bands, then you're going to open up the rubber bands and you are going to do it with a loose deck of cards. So basically that's why I told you to use an old deck of cards so that you can use rubber bands around it and without having the fear of destroying these cards. So basically you're going to open up the rubber bands and then you're going to refill down then put your pinky inside and then you're going to get a point from where you're going to take the break and from that break you are going to do the classic pass so you're going to do this once you get into that muscle memory now that is how you you can do it in one minute but in order to perfect it you need tons of practice and believe me guys it took me like few days in order to master this pass so for many people it might take weeks or for some people it might take a month or two in order to get this pass perfectly done so just don't lose hope if you're just new to this classic pass just keep practicing using the moves that I just taught you and you'll be able to do it straight away. Now there's a crucial thing that you need to know about the classic pass that when you need to do it. So basically you see people they are doing this kind of passes, they are doing covers like this and it really doesn't matter. When you're actually performing it to a spectator, all you're going to do is basically you are going to, after the spectator selects a card, you need to decide you need to control it to the top or the bottom. So if you need to control it to the top, it should be the top card of the bottom packet. Or if you need to control it to the bottom, it should be the bottom card of the top packet. And then you're going to take a pinky break from there. So basically, I'm going to control it to the top. So I'm going to keep a pinky break over here and put my put the other cards on top of it. And at this point, I just showed you that what you need to do in order to control it to the top or bottom. But this doesn't matter. What matters is when you are going to do the pass. So after you get that card into that position and you insert the pink you're going to hold the deck just like that and you are going to start talking to your spectator or spectators and as soon as they uh, give attention to your speech and they look at you you're going to do the classic pass secretly and for that you need muscle memory which only practice is going to give you so you're going to look at their eyes when they're when you're actually talking to them and then when they look at you you're just going to do the classic pass without even looking at your deck so that's how you're going to do the classic pass and that's how we actually every magician actually does it in order to control the spectators playing card so that's how you're going to do the classic pass now this tutorial was long but after following these instructions it should be very easy for you to get this entire classic pass done in just one minute but that doesn't mean that you are going to do it perfectly you'll just know the process and you'll you can get into this motion in one minute but it is going to take a lot of time for you in order to perfect the pass and do it really fast and uh, in a really sneaky way so this was just kind of an overview what you need to do in order to learn the classic pass but if you need an in-depth tutorial I mean I have an old video I'll just link you to that video in the description box and not just that I also have a course where I actually taught the classic pass in details and the course actually covers up almost each and every move that a beginner magician should know or a beginner card magician should know in order to get their hands perfectly accustomed to slide of hand. That course is called the inception of card magic and it deals with every single slide of hand moves that a beginner card magician should know and if you want you can also get that course it's really amazing and there you can also learn the classic pass in real depth because over there each and every moves are taught with great explanation and details and when to do and what to do so if you want to get that course make sure you check out the description because the link will be in the description so that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching peace